the last thing I want to show you is how to actually export a program for your robot. And uh, what I have set up here is an animation I've done uh, without any any uh, sort of mimic tools. This has been all with Maya's uh, normal keyframing, just keyframing key the translation and rotation of our target control here. So before exporting a program, uh, we require that you set either an IK or an FK keyframe. In this case, I am working entirely in an IK mode. So at frame one, I just want to set an IK keyframe. Now, the reason we want to do this is to make sure that the physical robot uh, knows exactly what configuration our Maya robot is. It helps us sort of reconcile all of, all of the math and kinematics and joint values from uh, what we're seeing in Maya with the real robot. That way, what you see in Maya is what you get on the real robot. So that's why that's important. So I set an IK keyframe there. Um, I have my animation. I can go into program. Uh, I can set up uh, the directory that I want to export to. So I'm just going to set that to desktop. Um, I'm going to give it a name here. Uh, sample time. Uh, in this case, I'm going to leave this to essentially 12 milliseconds, which is uh, for the processor I'm using right now, which is KUKA Entertain Tech, 12 milliseconds is um, sort of the sample time that it likes to run on. And then I can give it a frame range um, for my animation that I want to export. In this case, um, I want to set this from frame 1 to frame 120. Uh, pick my post-processor, in this case again, KUKA Entertain Tech. Um, and then I can uh, do one of two things. I can check the program to see if there's any uh, speed limit violations, things like that. Um, and I can save the program. So here's our program right here. We just printed it out here. Now you have real robot code that has been saved to uh, your directory. All right, so uh, very quickly, I just wanted to show you a couple um, sort of warnings you might get when exporting a program. Uh, the first of which I mentioned is if you don't have an IK or FK keyframe set. Uh, so right here, I have no keyframe set. Uh, so if I hit Save Program, it'll actually tell me, warning, you must set an IK, FK keyframe to ensure proper evaluation. Um, so if we were to then set, uh, let's say, an IK keyframe, come back here, hit Save Program, we now get our program. The next thing um, that you might find is if you have a velocity limit that's exceeded on your robot. So, you know, for every robot, each axis, uh, the motors have physical limits on, on how fast they can move, um, which is all built into our rig here. Um, so let me just demonstrate by going over to frame 10 and then whipping this guy around here quite a bit set a keyframe. So now it's a really fast move for that guy. So let's save our program here. Let's do frame range to 10. Uh, or we can check our program. So let's just hit check program without exporting and it'll tell us velocity limits exceeded and it'll tell you which axis um, it's been exceeded at and which frame. Uh, so this will give you some more guidance into um, where you need to look to sort of smooth out your program. So if you have a speed limit, say axis 4 here is the big one from frames 2 to 10, you're basically going to want to stretch out the amount of time that you make that movement over. So this will just give you good visual kind of indications of where the problems lie.